This is Mr. Ilu, welcoming you back to Pokemon Emerald. I did some stuff off screen, like I said. Like depositing some items and buying some. I pretty much squandered all my money. Yeah, but I got stocked up on quite a few things. But anyway, now that we can finally move on, let's move on. I already put up a super repel to spare a little trouble. But now that we beat Winona, let's move on. Got a lot of trainers to fight today. And a Natu, which evolves into the Zatu we saw earlier. Alright. Okay, we got a lot of battles here. Let's go with this one first. Of course we have different types. Not that many, though. Oh, this could be a bad combo. Yeah. Let's go with this. Because the problem is, in rain, thunder hits all the time. And Manetric has thunder? I know it has thunder. I just don't know why I didn't use it. Anyway. Quick Clock can help us. And there's that. Let's quickly heal up that paralysis while we're here. And let's go fight these guys. Battle Girl and a Ninja Boy. With more weak Pokémon. Just what we need. I should have expected that. Oh, you jerk. The thing is, you can use Dig and probably hit Layer on pretty good. Or not. Why did I Psychic? One, I'm surprised that in Ruby and Sapphire, one of these trainers has a Milotic, so you gotta be really careful of that thing if you're fighting it. Anyway, you take care of that. And there we go. Go over here. And grab a revive. And if we head up here, cutting this tree down, we can get some Asper Berries. We'll grab these quickly. There we go. Alright. Another train over here. <coughs> a Sableye. Oh boy. Detect? Yep. Yeah, this thing has to detect too. Let's hope Iron Tail can get rid of it. Good job, Darknut. Alright, now we have a little grass maze here. Well, not really a maze, you can just walk straight through if you want. But then you have to fight wild Pokemon. But now we got this trainer. Low Ted, that's bad in the rain. A Lombre. Absorb, really, that's it. And a Nuzleaf. Nothing big. Really? I wish. At least I can super speed fake out this time. Alright, light on is 42. What's this? Prepare for one of the coolest looking Pokemon ever. Lairon has evolved into Agron at last! At last, we have obtained Agron! Oh yeah! Look at that defense! This is going to be a great team member! Anyway, let's continue on now that we have Agron on our team. Uh, we got another Kecleon here. This is, I should also mention, if you fought all the others, this is the last invisible Kecleon. So if you want a level 30 Kecleon, that's easy to catch. Catch it now. But that's done. Now we got this guy. Let's see if they're fit for the outdoors. Oh, you are outside in these Pokemon games. Anyway, he's practically got the opposite of what she's got. So he, she had a Lotad, a Lombre, and a Nuzleaf. So he's going to have a C-Dot, a Nuzleaf, and a Lombre. Probably, probably the bigger... Actually, no, the other one would be the bigger threat in this rain. Because Lombre's kind of Swiss from him. Or Rain Dish. Alright, if you head straight down here, you can get a Nugget. That'll sell for some good money. Uh, we don't need to worry about that right now. Let's head over this way. Alrighty. Come down here. Let's put up a Repel. You know what? I don't think there's anything over there, actually. Is there? Nope. Alright then, you can surf up there for a secret base, but I obviously don't need to. 
Like this guy, that apparently is Red's cousin or something. Anyway. All he has is three circuits, nothing special. Just take him down, one at a time. I also should warn, because of the plans I want to do at the end of this episode, this may be a sh this considering it only took five minutes to get through this route, this is probably going to be a shorter episode for today. But there'll be a nice little surprise for tomorrow. You'll see why. Anyway, if you talk to this person, you can get a random berry. I think you can do that once per day. But here we have six Petcha Berries. Basically, six free antidotes. Very, very nice. Alright, let's head up here. We get even more berries. We get a Raz. A Pinap. A Nanab. And a Weepair. Alright, now let's put up a Super Pell. Head over here. Can get this full heal. Not that I need it. I have the lava cookies. And just another train over here. The Stalos cannot be matched. Not even by Mobius. Oh my gosh. Don't start with me. Thank you. Alright. Now, if we head up here through this grass, we got another hiker here. The problem is now it's raining again. So, I don't know if the stalls will be able to do full power. Nope. Ah, uh, we'll just switch. Sandshrew. Let's go into Jade. There we go. And a Sand Slash. go. And now if you look over here, we have the third and final of these strange rock formations, but once again, we cannot do anything about this, though. I will, if anyone has been wondering, I will be doing those, just not for quite some time. Did I get that item? Yes, I did. Alright, then let's head over to Route 121. Get this double metal in. Got two really creepy sounding trainers. Hex Maniac. Hex Maniac. Yeah, Hex Maniac and Bug Maniac. Yeah. Anyway, we've got a Dust Ox and a Dust Skull. Just take them down quickly. Dust Skull's probably the first pure ghost type we've seen. Same with Shuppet. Got them. And just take these other two down. And there we go. Of course you've lost. Alright. And up here, we can get even more berries! Chesto, Rost, Asper, and, Conf and Persim! So a lot of status healing ones, which are really nice. Is that a hidden item? Eh, uh, I'm gonna want that on. Get an HP up here. I'm still gonna be saving all these HP ups for a later team member. And let's fight you! Your precious Pokémon. A Kecleon is not precious. Well, I guess it depends on the trainer. Same with this Viper. Goodbye, and good riddance. Alright, let's head over here. Team Aqua! Off to Mount Pyre. Huh. Well, we could head straight down there to go to Mount Pyre, which is the monument, is the cemetery of this game. I don't know why I'm cutting this. But, we want to finish this route first. Anyway, if we check here, we can get a Zinc. Let's give that to Jade. And let's go up here and fight this double battle. Now, you see that building right up there? That's the Safari Zone. We'll be- I'll be showing that off at the end of the video. Alright, so double kick and sick. Yes, I'll be showing off the Safari Zone at the end of the video, because of my plans. Anyway... A faint attack on Blaziken? I'll take it. But anyway, we can get that. Jade gets level 40. Um, yeah, this can work. Let's take Zigzagoon's item, though. Just another potion. Alright, if we head this way... Okay, now, I would normally do a double battle against these two Pokemon breeders, 
But that means they would only have six Pokemon, because they can only have three and three, as opposed to twelve. So what I'm actually going to be doing is take, even though it's going to take longer, this video hasn't been that long, and I want to get all the EXP I can. Since it's basically six whole Pokemon I'd be missing out on if I did a double battle. So I'll just take them all out one by one. I'm running out of flamethrowers. That's bad. Let's go into Jade, then. Confusion. Roomish. Confusion. And Electric. Confusion. At least they don't have all water types this time. Alright, and now we can get this item. After fighting another six Pokémon. But it's good for the EXP. And EVs, for that matter. Let's go back into Jade. Oh, I'm running low on Psychics, too. Gotta be a little careful. You can go with Thunderbolt, then. Roll. Oh, still weak Pokémon. Tropius, never mind. But it's still gone. And another Electric. There we go. Nope, that's not what I want to talk to. Alright, check here. We can get a revive. Alright. If we go over here... First, let's fight this gentleman. Literally, he's a gentleman. With him in check. Goodbye. And there we go. No. Nope. Okay. I understand. Now, if we head over this way... We can get a Carbos to raise speed. I am going to... Give that to Thestalos. Alright. Now we can head this way. Now I believe there's an item up here. Right? Right here? No? Here? Over there? Yeah, a nugget. That's what I remembered. Alright. Now let's fight you. Delightfully pretty Pokemon. <gasps> a Pikachu! We haven't seen a Pikachu yet. And I just used my last flamethrower. Oh well. Anyway, this can be a double battle. If we can... If I just run... Yes, there we go. These are two little interesting cool trainers with powerful Pokémon. But nothing we, can, we can't handle because of our insane levels. But just because we've only used these three. And... there. Get a max revive out of there. Okay. I don't need any more anyway. And if you come down here, you can get six more Nana Berries. And if we go here, we finally get to Lily Cove City. Probably my favorite town in the game. Just I just like its atmosphere. Anyway, now that we're here, we're going to be doing a little exploring while we're here. Um, yes, that's how I want it. All right. So let's go from bottom to top this time. Alright. Over here, just people looking at a lighthouse. I believe there's an item over here. Yes, there is. A Max Repel. I'm actually going to do this quickly to save the trouble. You can switch items by pressing select. So I'll put that up there, just in case I get Max Repels later on. Now here's the contest hall. All the contests were moved to here in this game, but all I wanted... I'm not going to be showing off contests this time, but what I do want to do, and you need to if you want to go to the Safari Zone, is get a Pokeblock case. But, other than that, we're not going to be showing off the contests. I'm sorry, they're just not that special, especially in this game. Alright, that's all done with that. Um, nothing in there, I do believe. I think Scott's in this building, but it doesn't really matter. Team Aqua! Have they taken over the town? Well, anyway, we got the trainer fan club. We can't do anything with that quite yet. If you go up here... Hey, it's May! Well, we'll get to her soon enough. Up here we got the move deleter if you want to delete any HMs your Pokemon know. I don't think anything is in this house? No. But if you talk to this guy, you can get a random berry every single day. Which is very nice. Now if we go over here, talk to this guy, you get TM44 rest. And now a few more things. If we 
I believe. Yes, a PP up over here. And anything? Nope. Alright. If we go over here. It's Team Aqua guy. What the heck are those? Those don't look like Wilmer! But anyway, we can't surpass them. And we won't be able to do anything about that for quite some time, so just don't worry. Anyway, if you come over here, I believe. Is this? Nope. That means just this. You get a heart scale if you want to reteach Pokemon to move. But anyway, now I'll super speed from backtracking. Anyway, after all that, I think it's time let's go talk to me. That's all you bought? Oh, I can't really buy anything at this point. Uh, I just battled you! But anyway, we will. It's time for the final battle against May. Yes, this is the one game where you cannot fight a rival post-game, which I can't stand. They really should have made her get better. I don't think this is an appropriate ending. But anyway, we'll start with Atropius. This is just going to be a super easy battle. Especially with our levels. That's one. Alrighty. And level 42. Slash. Normally, I probably would teach this, but I'd rather not. You have good enough moves. Marsh Tomp. Let's go into Jade. Alrighty. Yeah, still, I mean, come on, the final rival battle, and she doesn't even have her final evolution. I mean, why? They should have made you be able to fight May post game. Oh well. Didn't even get rid of it. That's what I get for being calm nature. But, no, I thought Marshall was going to get rid of itself. Anyway. Just use one confusion, and there we go. Now we got Ludicolo. At least she got something to its final form. Oh my gosh. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to make any comments on Loted's evolution tree. Like I said in part one, I think Ludicolo can speak for itself. Anyway. Nature power. Nothing. Just get rid of this... Get this thing off my screen. That's all I can ask for. There we go. And last but not least, her Slugma. And goodbye. Come to think of it, during this game, I don't think we've ever fought a single turn that has Slugma's Ball form. Oh well. Oh, we've beat May. Yeah. That wasn't that long ago, actually. That was, like, less than a week ago. Alright. Yeah, she's going home, hence that this is the last battle. Well, alrighty. Well, anyway, now that we're here, might as well check this department store out. I'll probably buy some stuff here off-screen. There's quite a few TMs and other items. But one thing I'll just show off quickly is the lottery ticket. That's the same in every Pokemon game. And, of course, that happened. But anyway... Let's go heal up after that. Alright. And now, like I said... Our next... Well, I'll say this first. Our next destination is Mount Pyre. But like I said, I wanted to go into the Safari Zone first. Well, I'm not going to go into it. Let me explain. The Safari Zone is a place where you can catch Pokémon. You get a, a, a limited amount of steps, and but you have to pay $500 to get in. You have 30 Safari Balls that work like Great Balls. There are four areas of the Safari Zone, two of which you can only get to depending on which bike you have. And you can get special Pokémon with them. For example, Mach Bike can get you a Pinsir, but an Acro Bike can get you the Mighty Heracross. But anyway... I will be... This is going to be it for today, but there's going to be a little surprise. By the next video, we will have not one, but two new team members. So this is Mr. Ilu, and I'll see you next time.